so after defining all the loads all the dead and the live loads now we need to assign the load for the seismic weight calculation so why is why is it important to calculate the seismic weight so you know that uh, you know that so to calculate the base shear that is uh, vv the base shear v is equal to ah into w so we have given the program factors to calculate ah but uh, we haven't yet specified the seismic weight of the building definitely we have uh, we have assigned the load to the building but we have not yet told the program which load to take in order to calculate the seismic weight of the building so while calculating the seismic weight of the building so w what we do is that so we got two kinds of load so one is the dead load right one is the dead load and another is the live load live load so while calculating the seismic weight of the building w so it so this is as per is 1893 what we do is that we take all the dead loads so whatever the dead load we have uh, defined or whatever the dead load we have assigned we take all of that and for the live load we have two conditions so let me show that condition <laughs> Okay, so if you go to table 10 of IS-1893-2002, then you can see that percentage of imposed load to be considered in calculating seismic weight. So it basically wants to say is that uh, while calculating the seismic weight, we take the total dead load, but we do not take the entire live load. Imposed load distributed uh, float load, so kilonewton per meter square. So if the live load intensity that we defined or that we assigned uh, that we assigned uh, to our structure, if that intensity is up to and including three, so that is equal to or less than three kilonewton per meter square. In that case, only 25% of this value, that is three kilonewton per meter square value, should be taken. And if it is above three, in that case, 50% should be taken. So we have to tell software this thing, right? So we have to tell software to calculate the all the dead load. So all and only 25% because uh, in all of our case, the live load is less than or equal to three kilonewton per meter square. That is why we will uh, give the factor of 25% that is 0 0.25 to our load values. For example, if we are applying the load of 2 km per meter square, in that case, we have to multiply this live load by 0 0.25 into 2. So 25, 0 0.25 into 2, that is equal to uh, 0 0.50, yes. So 0 0.25 into 2 is equal to 0 0.50. So we have to tell Start Pro uh, this thing. So let's do that.